guys, it's your boy Big Smoke 369. Bringing up. I just got the last move from uh, this, the little event. So, yeah. Let's read those real quick. The last one took me a while to get. It took me about 20 tries beating. Fuck. Uh, beating, um. Supreme Kai of Time and ever bleed over and over again. So let's read what these do. Holy Inscription. Attack using two clock hands to uh, you form with your own hands. You can attack up to four times by spending more key with additional input. You can also unleash your shockwave based on the number of hits this attack lands. And, and it gets cut off, as natural. Carl's Cannon. Set up key blasts and release them after some time passes. The more hits Holy Inscription has, the more blasts you can set up. Maximum of 12. Additional input can be will be will launch the blast all at once, but be careful though. Set up eight or more, and you're probably in trouble. Um, so that's what was happening when I played Supreme Kai of Time, which I will put that somewhere on the screen at the end of this little video. I will put it put that when I played with Supreme Kai of Time on the screen, so you guys can go over there and check that video out. Um, Temporal Holy Ray, set up key blast and release them after some time passes. The more hold hits. Holy Inscription has the more blasts you can set up. Maximum of three. Additional input will launch the blast all at once. But be careful though, activating this will also cause you trouble. Time Space Impact. An ultimate attack in which you restrict your opponent's movement and punish them with a powerful key blast. The attack won't cause a restricted opponent to go flying, meaning you can rack up massive damage. That's what I'm assuming. Godly Kronos Cannon. Generate four key, four key blasts around you and launch them one by one with additional input. The more hits from Holy Inscription there are, the more damage this attack does. But be careful though, activating this attack may result in ultimate death. And her evasive, Chaos Wall. Launch a wall that nullifies key blasts. Hold the button to make the wall larger and increase its damage and speed. We're gonna go check those out real quick. Greetings. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm right here. And who better to use these moves out on than the woman herself, Spring Kai? Show you what I can really do. I picked the wrong map, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I was gonna do time rip, but th but this map works too. So we have everything. Let's do a holy inscription. It's four input. So it does 1601 damage. Now I'm gonna go gold right after. And see how much it the gold. Same amount of damage. So Carl's cannon. Because I did it twice, it's gonna be a little more damage. Okay, so it's got four. So combo damage is a thousand just naturally. Because the damage is 250 a piece. Because the dam, so the damage itself is 16, and the Karos, and oh, we're gonna do it naturally. The four you summon up is 1,024. Let's see if it changes with gold form. The damage output increases to 1,332. Well, 33 damage times four. I, I'm assuming that would be 1332. Drop this. Holy Temple, Holy Ray. I do like that, that you do the pose and stuff. And this can be launched whenever. I want to try something. I want to see if this can... I want to try something real quick. Because that does 2,000. Yeah, no matter what, if you just hit it. You just hit it. Yeah, it just does the same points of damage. So let's do this. Try this way. See if it increases. That does it does a lot more damage when you're golden. See, it does way more damage. Now I want to try something with that. Because it said depending on the hits that you get with this, depending on the hits you get with this, you could summon up more. Maybe that's not how it works, but other than that, let's go, let's go back to normal. Time and space, time, space, impact. 
That is 2,359 damage base. Go gold. Knock her away, because it'll reset the damage. Do it again. There's a higher point damage. 3,000... 3,607. 3,067 damage in uh, gold form. Godly Chronos Cannon. So it's really nothing, it's nothing like to show, but it's like the Sage of Six Paths without the Six Paths. But this is going to be constantly shot all. Oh, wrong button. Didn't mean to do that one. But this one, I like this move a little, a little bit because at any time you can launch this. And anytime you could launch it, but we're not worried about it. That's 1282 for each ball. So if you want to do it, let's do that again. Let's, like, do it up. So I have to shoot it off one by one. So yeah, it is one by one, so it's kind of hard to get what I need. Let's try it again one more time. And it knocks your opponent back too, so you gotta remember that damage too. So yeah, just 767 damage. Space. And since it stays on, if I go gold, it stays there. That's good to know. And it does it does the same damage. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Go back. Actually, I want to do the 12 balls. I want to see. I want to see how much of a cluster that is. I just want to see this. I just want to see how many balls you summon up. Oh my lord, look at all those. Look at all those balls. And the all attack. Dang, that's it's like Okay, one. Two. I have to, to count that as three. See, this is no damage. There it is! That's what that means. So when you do three, when you do three attacks, you can set three up. That is cool. I like that. You gotta connect it three times to do that. All right. So now I can do this. And put up another one. And put up another one them all at different times too. I like that. That's cool. Get her. I like that. I really do. I want to try something. Four. Let's see. You like that? Yeah, it's like that. That's how it works. You just, you just have to hold it. So two times doing that twice only gives you four. Oh, no, it doesn't. Can I just... Can I just constantly do this? No, I can only... It's only a period of time. Maybe it's because I ran out of key. I think it's just because I ran out of key. No, oh, this is... This is overpowered. So you can only have two up at a time. Unless you do that. Oh, that's a, actually, that's a cool trick, too. You just put two up, and then you do this. And then you launch them all at the same time. So it's like having three up without having three up. That is cool. I like that. And you can just line them up, too. One goes off right there. One goes off right here. And you do this. That is cool. I like that. This boosts base boosts. 
All right, well, that's all I wanted to show is what, what the moves do and show them off with my kit. So, anyway, I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>